This is the Philips Big Bore PET CT scanner. It is a uh, special scanner that's used to primarily look at oncology patients looking for cancer in the body. This is a new service for the hospital and this machine is a special machine because it is the first clinical use PET CT scanner in the country of its type. What makes this machine special is a number of things, but primarily it's this big bore that you go through as a patient. Now some people are a little claustrophobic or they have to adjust how we position them to go through here, but with this very large bore scanner, we're able to take people through there and they experience very little discomfort with claustrophobia or just feeling tight in there. Part of the specialties of this piece of equipment here is the ability for the patient to not feel enclosed in the gantry. For instance, this patient would be the, a setup for a simulation study that we do here. It's also an initial setup for a routine PET scan. So the patient would lay on the table like this. We try to make them as comfortable as possible. Their arms would be placed above their head is the best way to do the test. However, if they cannot do that, we are able to work with the patient in this type of setting and let them have their arms down to their side and still get a very accurate and specific test. So the, the planning would be that the patient would be in this position and they would follow into the gantry as such as a very slow speed. The initial setting would stop in the first portion of the gantry, which is the CT portion, and then the patient would advance in segmentally, as shown, all the way up into the second gantry where the PET portion would take place next. When we merge those images together, we can then send that to our radiation treatment planning. Now, not every patient's going used for that, but in some specific oncology cases, we want those merged images, which gives our radiation oncologist more information to plan radiation treatments. So it's called four dimension. We actually look at the tumor as it moves while you breathe or while your internal organs are moving. This machine, because of its capabilities, is able to do that. We could not do that before. We take these images, and I've changed the, the color just so that uh, you can see it better. Uh, the blue is the normal body. The yellow, or the gold, is tumor area where uh, it has cancer involvement. Um, so we, we get that for diagnosis. Then we uh, fuse the images together, the CT images, then we can look in between the images and draw or contour the area that we want to treat. This is the CT. We can look back and forth into the, the PET so that we know our target. Some specific uh, examples of things we'll be doing in the future is looking at Alzheimer's and dementia. We can do scans in the brain and see things that we weren't able to see before. These are new exams, new things for the raw area for our patients. We can also do things like bone scans that used to be done in the nuclear medicine department to look for cancers or other things in the skeleton, in your bones. That's a capability this machine has. The other future thing that we'll be doing with this machine is looking at heart studies. So you've heard some people talk about stress tests or uh, cardiac tests. This is another modality we're going to be have to replace some of those exams.